Magnum de Cano, your violence and threats against Biafrans will be your greatest undoing. Uchemefo blast. What is Uchemefo talking about? Please. Who is throwing threats and who is causing violence? You see, that is why sometimes um, doing things with, um, with people that you already know used to be very, 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 very dangerous. Which means is now trying to use his, um, his uh, what is it called? The, he's not trying to use the experience he already gathered consigning Namde Kanu to see how to bring him down. But unknowing to him that he's bringing himself down and disgracing himself publicly. He has seen that um, his living uh, uh, IPOP has really brought his downfall. Okay, where is he now? Being with Asari Dokubo, who is hearing about him? But when he was with Mazenam Kanu, everywhere huh? Uchemefu, Uchemefu, Uchemefu. But now, where is Uchemefu? Uchemefu is now a lost Mefu. Omefu? <laughs> hey, my dear viewers. The enemies of IPOP are enemies of Biafra because IPOP is that very group that is known to be the group that is at the forefront of the pursuit for Biafra's struggle and freedom. Though we have other group, but it's a key group. It's that group that is generally known in the whole world. Do you understand? And that group that has the support of over 120 advanced countries. And that is what is eating the head of Wazurike that made him to make that video that he made. He wished that he was the one having all of those connections. Hmm. My dear viewers, it's good to appreciate good hands. When one is doing good, appreciate the person. Don't be against the person. Don't criticize the person. This is one very bad thing which Mefo is doing. He's trying to use the little experience he has gathered while he was in IPOP to fight IPOP. Not knowing to him that it is a very bad experience, which he himself will regret in a lifetime because it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay at all. Whosoever that tells him that it pays is deceiving him. It's deceiving him. Okay, hear what he said. He said the struggle for the emancipation of the sovereign state of Biafra didn't start today. It all started in year 1967 when late General Ojuku declared the Republic of Biafra, which led to the civil war that lasted for 30 months after the war with Biafra conquered. The same thing that led to the war in the first place is still happening in the country. This ugly incident has given rise to many Biafran agitations over the years. One of the first notable Biafran activists was a man called Mazi Raf Wazurike, who was the founder of Masop, movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. We also saw all this Masop of a thing started and ended with our leader. Another movement who seems to be gaining ground and international recognition worldwide is the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, championed by their able supreme leader Mazin Nandekanu, who is leading the agitation from London. As we all know, Mazin Nandekanu is leading this IPOP family, using different principal officers at different levels to advance this particular Biafran cause. We also know that the ex-deputy IPOP leader in the person of Uchemefo 
had a fallout with Nagekano, which led to him doing and also being removed as the deputy leader. Namdekanu labelled Uchemefo as a traitor and a saboteur, who shouldn't be trusted in the ongoing Biafran struggle. Just a few hours ago, the same Uchemefo came out to lambast Namdekanu, and below is what he said. Mazi Namdekanu, your threats and violence directed against Biafrans shall be your greatest undoing. That's a suicidal mission for you unless you redirect or retrace your steps and set your priorities right. The records are there. As expected, many people reacted to that remarks from Uchemefo. For me, I think that Uchemefo made the above comments due to the way Mazenam de Kano has been threatening many Igbo leaders who aren't supporting him in this Biafran struggle. We all saw the threats being served by Namdekano to any Igbo person who is talking against this Biafran struggle publicly. As usual, many people reacted and are saying a lot. Uche Mefo is speaking because the plan that he has for leaving IPOP didn't work out. Uche Mefo betrayed IPOP. That is why Namikano have to close down, close down the IPOP group in UK and dismiss Uchemefo. Uchemefo was bought over. He was bought over. Uchemefo was feeling too superior of himself. See, there is nothing as good as remaining humble and obedient to who is above you. Those people that have brought you over, what have they been able to do for you? Instead, you are still deteriorating, coming down, reducing. Nobody is hearing about you anymore. Nobody. It doesn't pay you. I am telling you, it doesn't pay you. To me, the best thing for you to do now is to find a way to get yourself reconciled with another family because where you are doesn't pay you and can never pay you. I am telling you, it is the fact. Unless you want to remain a nobody. Do you understand? That is it. So, my my dear viewers, you have all heard Uchimefo and his many blabbings. Yes, I know I call it blabbings because a traitor is always a traitor always blab. That's how a traitor always behaves. Let me hear from you and know what's your own take concerning all that Uchimefo have just said. If you're new, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.